All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to um, tie a loop knot. And this is kind of like the clench knot. I have a video on that if you wanna go check it out. But a loop knot is just kind of like a clench knot, except it sort of is, but it has like a loop. So if, you, or if you're fishing like with a lure or something like that, then it gives the lure more action, um, you, stuff like that. So it looks really good in the water and it just gives you more action. And for certain things like with lure fishing, I would recommend using a, um, a loop knot, but yeah. All right guys, so I got some line here, just some 10 pound test line and I got, got a little hook um but so the first thing you're going to want to do is instead of you don't want to thread your line through the eye of the hook first you don't want to do that you want to actually tie it just an overhand knot just like this real quick and you want to leave about about like i don't know like a few inches of like tag end so like if this is your overhand knot then you want about this much of space left but then you thread the line through after you tie that overhand knot and then actually what you're going to do is um but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tag end the line and you're gonna put it back through that overhand knot just back through there so it should look like kind of like this so you just have your overhand knot and then your line going through there and then you're gonna pull that tight down there so that that um overhand knot is touching it it's touching the eye of the hook all right but so then just like the clench knot you're gonna do about like um five wraps around the line but one thing you want to make sure to do is when you're, you want to like kind of pinch the eye of the hook in the little overhand loop kind of thing by the eye of the hook. Because you don't, if you don't hold that, then it will start getting tight and it'll just kind of form a knot and you'll have to start over. But so then you're just going to do, um, this is 10 pound test. I'm about to, I'm going to do about five. So I got my wraps in. So it should look like about like this. I take my finger off. It should look, you got those wraps and then you got the overhand knot. And then the last step is you're going to take this tag end. And you're just gonna pass it back through put it right through there and it'll kind of look like there's like two little loop sort of things but put them both through both of them after you do that it should look like about like this um but then you're just gonna tie that tight so just kind of pull that tight and get it cinched down and kind of pull on the tag end pull on the line just to get it really cinched down use your fingers to pull it down too but so then you should have a loop so this can kind of you're like hook it's attached good but like you can still like slide around and stuff good. But overall, it's a pretty good hook. I mean, you can see if I move it around, you can see how the hook moves and it'll clench knot. It wouldn't really move like that. It would kind of just like go with the line completely, but this like rotates a little bit more and stuff. So it can give better action for lures, but. But yeah, so that knot is a little bit more complicated, not too complicated more than the clench knot, Um, but it does take a little bit more time to learn and get a good at. I'm not even that good at it to be honest either. Um, as you can see, but I'm still learning and I mean, I can still tie one, I guess. But yeah, so super short video. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.